Now then everyone, welcome back to the final part of this series where I'm showing you how to model a protein shaker in Autodesk Fusion 360. In this video I'll be showing you a few tips and tricks on how to create a nice looking rendered image of the protein shaker that we just created. Before we start, don't forget to like the video, comment and subscribe, and without further ado, let's get started. So to start with, you probably have something on your screen that looks similar to this uh, in the stock setup for for the rendering scene. No materials applied or anything. So um, the first thing we'll look at doing is looking at the scene setup. So first thing we'll do is look at the environment library. Uh, and you'll see that you've got a few different options here. You've got all these photo booth style ones, uh, as well as some outdoor ones as well. Um, and you can also and you can also look at attaching a custom environment. So if you've got any images uh, yourself that you want to add in there, uh, like any studio images or anything like that, you can do that. Uh, but for now, we're just going to stick with soft light. So if we put that in there, uh, we'll go back to the settings. Brightness, we'll leave that as it is for now. The background, you can either change it to the environment, which you'll see is the actual image itself, um, which you can choose to do that if you want or not. Um, personally, I think just a standard color is better, but if you wanted to, um, you can do that change the scale of the ground so you can see more or less of the, uh, the background but for me I just like to keep that as a solid colour maybe put that as a bit of a, a darker one something like that so we'll keep the ground plane on uh, we'll flatten the ground and we'll leave the reflections on as well Maybe take the roughness to maybe 0 0.2, 0 0.5, just to give those reflections a nice soft edge. Um, turn that up there. So the camera, keep the focal length at 90. Um, we'll add depth of field, which is. One of the key things to making your renders look pretty good and look more realistic so that it looks like an actual camera is taking the picture. Um, so we'll select the lid there, maybe there as our depth of field. So anything further away or closer than that should have a bit of a blur to it. Um, so that, that should give it a, a nice little boost in how good it'll look. We'll take the blur down to about point, point 0.1. leave that as that so take the minus on that to get rid of that next thing what we'll look at doing is the appearance so we'll add some materials to uh, our models so we'll go to plastic and we'll go for ABS white for the cap and the lid and then we will go for a translucent one for the, the body here, so we'll go for plastic translucent glossy white. There we go. And we'll come up here to the top and we'll we'll put a different colour in them. So if we right click on them, go to edit. I think we'll go for a blue colour. A nice colour like that, that looks okay to me. same colour on the body as well there we go done hit the minus on that to get rid of that box so let's give it a quick in canvas render to see what that looks like Now depending on your machine that you're using, this could take a little bit of time just to, to render and make sure it looks alright, but 
you can see from just from a early draft of the render, it's starting to look pretty good. We've got a, a bit of roughness on the plastic, so it gives it that kind of realistic look. Another thing you can do to um, add a bit more realism to your, your render is to maybe add a bit of a decal to it as well. So if we come up here to the decal tool, um, I've previously created a PNG image uh, with the, the word just protein uh, written on it, but obviously you could change that to whatever you wanted to, whether it be some uh, branding or images or anything like that. Uh, so if you make sure that's got a, a, a PNG format to it, so it's got a, a clear background. Um, if you find that uh, in your documents, select the face that you want to attach it to, being that face. Once it loads up, you can literally just position it wherever you want and Fusion 360 is really good at keeping the decal tangent to the face that it's on and you can scale that up or down you know, however big you want it to be um, I'll just leave that at that, that size again there's a lot of different settings here you can flip it around horizontally or vertically um, but we'll just leave that like that for now that looks pretty central to me so I'll just click OK on that. If I just set that rendering now. We'll see that that adds uh, a bit more of a, a realistic touch to it. Um, and if you wanted to get uh, any deeper into rendering that you can do, but for this, this video, that's, that's where I'm going to leave it today. Um, I, I think that looks pretty good for a quick render just to get the point of the design across uh, and maybe show some concept images to, to a client or whatever your purpose is um, so yeah that, that, that's as far as I'm going to take it today. So that's the end of the video and the end of this series, I hope you enjoy watching and can take something away from the videos, as always don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time, cheers!